Hey everyone, this is Eli from checkit.com here with an After Effects tutorial on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And of course, Effects Friday is right behind Tutorial Tuesday because we all love Brandon. However, I have a great effect for you today, and it was recommended by this guy right here named Adam Kerr, and it was on our Ch -ch Check It's fan page thing, which is really cool. You guys should go check it out. I'll put a link in the description. And um, basically, he was just asking how I achieved this effect. Never have to set foot into a storm. Never have to set foot into a storm. Never have to set foot into a storm. Never have to set foot into. So of course, that's from uh, our big video from Amazon Wireless Wrap that we won the contest and stuff. It was really cool. But um, that's actually a, an effect I've been doing for years. I actually made up the effect a long time ago. So I'm really excited to finally be like someone showing interest in it and wanting to know how I do it. So it's very easy. It's just basic motion tracking. This is uh, Brandon doing <laughs> the example. Um, <laughs> he just humps and then it just reveals meaningless text, guys. I mean, don't don't take anything we do seriously. We're just noobs trying to teach other people how to do stuff. So um, <laughs> basically, I'm going to be giving you this project file for free. You know, or or ten bucks. I mean, you can give me ten bucks if you want, but it's gonna be up there for free. Um, so please, guys, give this video a like for all the hard work we do, and just the stuff we give away for free and stuff. I'm gonna be giving this away. Link in the description. Please like the video. We love you guys, and I hate asking for likes, but I, I really don't because it helps out a lot. So anyway, um, I'm I'm gonna give you guys the project file too. This is basically it. It's very very easy to do. I mean, it's just basic rotoscoping, and I mean, it's very cheesy if you see that, but the effect is achieved, and it tricks the viewers because it's so fast. This is just like one second right here, and it tricks the viewers, so you don't even need to be that precise, and I'll show you guys exactly how to do this right now. So let's do a new project, and I'm not going to save that because I'm going to give you guys the one I'm working on right now. Okay, so once we have a blank slate, double click in this blank canvas area and find Hump Lay Airs, which is provided in the pack that I gave you guys. Hit open, and let's just drag and drop it into this blank canvas area to create a new composition. Now, once you have Hump Lay Airs inside the project, let's drag it to about where it drops down and is pretty much down. So right about here, have this selected, hit Control Shift D, and that basically just splits the footage. It's like a, ba a basic edit point in After Effects, so um, never edit in After Effects, guys. That's just silly. Okay, just stick with Sony Vegas for editing, but this just makes it so we can affect two different clips without having to just duplicate the footage and make it shorter and stuff. So yeah, um, let's have this selected, hit enter, and let's rename this top part. Uh, let's just name it Hump, you know, because we're lazy. And I I'm doing this just to keep it organized. And this bottom one, let's call it reveal yes great names <laughs> alright so the next part is uh, for tracking information so go over to the tracker menu if you don't have it go up to window and hit tracker and uh, it'll appear down here just, just trust me on that one okay <laughs> and have the reveal layer selected hit track motion now let's zoom in I'm just using the scroll wheel let's make this bigger just so we can zoom out and use it and uh, I'm going to use this point right here because it's very high contrast. And I'm going to zoom in with the middle point because that's what we want to track. And then this is the search area. So let's just make it a, make it a bit bigger. That's what she said. And <laughs> move it over a little bit. All right, so that looks good. So now make sure that the, the point is right at the beginning where you want to start tracking. And then hit this little forward analyze. Okay? And it's going to... Just analyze the whole clip until the very end. And it's going to take a little bit of time, but you know, this is my time to talk to you. Hey guys, how have you guys been? How's the weather? The weather here is very hot. I burn myself on my seats and they're cloth. That's just insane in my car. I could cook cookies on my car window. Like, it's just insane, okay? All right, so it's done. That was a nice little talk that we had. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the freak? I'm so stupid. Okay, so once we have that, 
that tracking information right there. Don't touch anything until you go up to layer and you go new and you hit null object. Okay? So that null object is basically what we're going to edit the target and we're going to find the null and we're going to apply the tracking data to that null object. So hit apply and then it might hide itself but you got to find this little box and hit OK and boom basically what we just did was from this point which I'm just going to click and drag this over you know edit it um, so basically it just appears by then and it just put all that tracking data and if you can tell it applied all that tracking data to that, to that null object and now it's sticking to that back headlight which is exactly what we want so let's hide this null object because that's annoying and now we're on we're on a great track guys we are <laughs> next you're gonna double click in here again find the folder that I gave you and find words words word hit open and uh, editable layers is fine hit OK drag and drop that composition layer inside and you will see that basically I just made this very quick in uh, Photoshop I took a screenshot well, I gotta turn my phone off. I took a screenshot of uh, the video, and then I just basically made some text, and I put you know a little little black shadow under it. I mean, it's very easy, very fast. You guys are better than me at Photoshop, so is Brandon. You know, it's just a quick little thing. So um, I just took away the background, saved it in uh, 1080p, so that I could just drag and drop it right into After Effects. So it's really easy. Okay, really easy edit, really fast and now I provided this in here too so you guys don't even have to really make anything if you don't want to so yeah um, let's move on someone's talking to me hold on well oh, sorry about that guys I got like 18 messages at once from Facebook like our fans are trying to talk to me or something I don't know which is uh, very distracting I'm just gonna f wow yeah that's really distracting I'm just gonna flip my phone over I'm sorry <laughs> anyway um, or any slut <laughs> Now, let's move on. So, with the words, words, words selected, we are going to parent the words, words, words layer to the null object. And what that does is it just makes it stick to where the null object was tracked. You see that? So now it's just, it makes it look like it's actually part of the video, which is great and exactly what we wanted. And guess what? we achieved it and I'm also going to move it up I just have it selected I'm gonna hit the arrow keys up a bit just cuz it's kinda of far down in the future yeah see now now that's better okay so now that we have that all worked out all that's left is to rotoscope it which is actually pretty simple so with the words words word layer that's just that's too much to say let's let's rename it to just word there we go. Alright, so with the word layer selected, go up to the pen tool and we're going to go about right where he starts turning, right there. Now, I know that I don't need this to show up until about right there, so I'm going to, you know, scrunch it down a bit and same with the null object just because it's pointless to have the null long to. And now let's turn this off real quick and we're just going to draw a basic shape around Brandon's leg. So, it does not need to be that convincing guys I mean it's so quick that even just a basic edit is very convincing okay so um, at first I'm just gonna go straight down because I know that I'm gonna have to BS a lot in this because the words I made it on purpose too big check it out basically I made this too big on purpose because I wanted to show you guys that you can BS stuff and it will still look just fine you see how that's that's appearing right there basically I make it appear right about there and with the uh, why why didn't it did I not finish the the mask did I just fail completely wow I just failed completely cannot believe I just did that okay I'm gonna remake this mask real quick what a fail man why am I failing so much today gosh I suck but at least you guys get to see this twice and actually oh my gosh let's undo that let's hit control Z and I'm gonna go around this all the way around go up and then I'm going to connect it alright so you see that it uh, it chops off that point and we 
didn't want that little part to appear, but it's not a big deal, guys, because it's so quick, no one will ever notice. So hit inverted. That'll just make it so we will reveal the text behind the leg. Now let's go into the mask and just put up the feather to like 20. Eh, 20 is looking good. I mean, feather just basically covers your mistakes and makes it very forgiving. It makes any mask very forgiving because you can not be extremely precise and it'll still look good. All right, so now you want to animate the mask from this point. So we're going to hit the stopwatch and basically just rotoscope all the way through. So a couple hints guys, a couple hints uh, before I just, you know, fast forward this. Um, you're gonna use page up and down and from this point on you have an animated keyframe. So now you can just go down twice and we can just double click the mask, you know, drag it over, maybe down a bit and uh, then you double click over in this area and you can click again and then you can edit individual points and you're basically just going to continue this and follow the leg until it goes off screen so I just basically taught you guys everything you need to know from this point so I'm just gonna fast forward it from right here okay so yeah see you guys in a second Cause I can't wait to long for this to end there's more to life I've yet to comprehend cuz I can't wait to long Alright guys, welcome back. Basically, um, if you watched that, it was just uh, kind of time consuming and a good roto mask takes time. And the thing with the thing, I, <laughs> the thing with the thing, and the, the thing that really you guys should remember is that when you're rotoscoping, it doesn't need to be perfect, especially with that feather. Check it out. You guys will see right now how convincing this looks. And I just spent maybe five minutes rotoscoping. That was nothing. It was very easy, very quick, and it was very convincing. And with just those little tips, I think we're done here. I mean, turned out good. Uh, let me, I just used the tilde key. Someone told me that's what it's called. Um, the tilde key and hit zero to pre-render. And uh, look how good that looks, guys. Very convincing. And I will include this project file in the little thing that I give you guys. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And guess what I used to record this today? I used the Aver Media, which is very nice. I mean, barely even know it's here. It's way better than Camt Camtasia. I mean, I love it. <laughs> it's not like we're getting paid by these guys. We're not. We really aren't. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, you know, give it a like. If you didn't already, you know, share it, favorite it. Do whatever you want, really. But, uh. Above all, give us some loving. Talk to me. I'm lonely. I have no friends. I have Brandon, but he's never around. I feel like the housewife. He's just always out doing stuff, partying, and I'm just here alone on my computer. So, you guys can add me on Xbox Live or eventually play with us on Minecraft. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching today guys, and I will see you guys next Friday and every day because of Minecraft poop And you guys will see Brandon on Tuesday. So thank you so much for watching later